That's wonky, huh? Lay it up here too. This little point of use wonky system though has been running for many years. Anyway, yeah, we got plenty of light out here with those guys. Just this one little point of use gizmo, right? One solar panel and one uh, battery here, which is of course a uh, lithium iron phosphate. And then this one little inverter and this little charge controller. And that's it, that's the whole thing. <laughs> so, yeah, this charges, uh, you know, provides a charge to the controller, which charges the battery. The battery provides power to uh, this guy. And yeah, we create power. Boom. Which is super handy. Uh, I like those ones, point of use. Same with this guy. Stereo's running. I got an inverter back there. One battery, one little cheapo charge controller. And uh, yeah, that dude will run this stereo all day long. It'll run the fan too. I can blow a fan in there if I like. It charges from this guy. So point of use, man. So I'm just using kind of a temporary setup. This has been temporary setup for about 15 years. <laughs> I like those little point of use ones because uh, you can set it up real quick, right? You can get a solar panel, a battery, a little charge controller, a little inverter. Maybe. Maybe 150 bucks. Yeah, not very much. Hey, you can get one of these guys for about 50 bucks all day long. And uh, probably about maybe 30, so then about 10 and 40, and that's about 30 or 40. Yeah, maybe 140, something like that, 130. Anyway, I like those point of use ones. Very, very handy for me. Now, I first started out doing solar. Uh, I did it in my uh, driveway first, which is out here. And uh, yeah, it's a point of use job again. I bought um, the little, you know, actuator gate uh, opener gizmo there. And, uh, and it came with uh, a solar panel and some, uh, and some lead acid batteries, which have died few years back and then uh, I got some uh, lithium iron phosphates in there two of them and uh, yeah it charges them up really good and then I added an extra panel just so it had a little more juice and of course it works really great it's been working for a long time also and of course actually the uh, <laughs> this whole gizmo charge in the shop is a point of use it's uh, it's the shop's power right so it's not really run through the house or anything, it's just run for the shop. So we have our power. I got dual fans blowing our full blast. Uh, I got my uh, basically 680 amp hours worth of battery. I got two 200s down there and then one 280 here. There's 400 amp hours plus 280, 680. And I'm running this charge controller for the panels on the roof and then that one for the ones on the fence because it's a higher voltage. 364 right now. This guy can only handle 150, so I couldn't do it through that. Anyway, this can only handle 60 amps also. I'm pushing more than 60 amps now. But anyway, yeah, even with all this stuff on, and this guy's plugged into the pool, and with the pool running, <laughs> it stays full charged all day long. It, uh, it's a lot of power there, so I can run even more stuff off the shop. So these guys back here too, I got these solar panels put up today. This is, uh, to, tie, to finish off the shop area here in the refining area, you know, so they're not even hooked up. But I got a charge controller coming and I'm gonna deal with a 48 volt battery in there instead of these 12 volt systems. And I'll remove these two point of uses in here and I'll just have one, uh, you know, solar charger, inverter, controller system in here to run this building. There's a very, very, very good baby girl. Oh, she's so good, she's just darling. She's darling, she's darling, dog. No, don't be fooled. she will bite the death out of you. <laughs> she's a savage all the way. But she's a lovey savage. Also, I like these little guys too. These are a little point of use, you know, elimination. They stay lit all the time, but then when you walk out here, boom, they go super bright. So it gives you a little bit of illumination all the time. And then they go, uh, 
full of bright when you walk past it. Same with these guys up here. They're a little point of use, you know, uh, floodlights. And uh, very, very handy and work well. And uh, these guys also. <laughs> point of use everywhere, right? And they're, uh, they're not too much money, they're just a few bucks. But yeah, they're really handy and nice. But yeah, another point of use here for the goat barn. Those guys have been up, shoot, uh, at least probably 12, 13 years, maybe 14 years. Oh yeah, this one's been out here, I don't know, six, six seven years now. Yeah, so yeah, it's, uh, it's still cooking out here. And of course, they run the uh, electric fence too for the goats. But my goats are all gone. Oh. They are. That's sad. So that's how I started basically with solar, just doing these point of use, uh, you know, where I needed power somewhere that wasn't convenient to run an extension cord or something out to the gate. That would have been a disaster, right? I'd probably run it over to the lawnmower the first day. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, these are super handy. These little solar system, uh, you know, little single use area jobs, you know. I, uh, I really like them. They're inexpensive now. And uh, yeah, you can illuminate your house and your driveway and for security, uh, that's probably a good idea, right? You can get a little driveway monitor that when somebody walks up here or somebody drives up here, it kicks in the house, rings the doorbell. And uh, yeah, those are handy too. And they're inexpensive. Yeah, so I got uh, this guy here. Here, and then one more down there. Point of use, baby. Point of use solar. You should try. You should try some. At 20, 30 bucks, you can get a couple of floodlights for your house. Yeah. Or maybe a, a little warning gizzy. Somebody walks up. Or a doorbell gizzy. Yeah, you can do all those solar. You don't have to do it with your home electrical power and pay the grid guys a couple hundred bucks a month. You don't have to do it. Peace, baby. I love you, man. You have a great day.